In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called graphing a parabola of the form y equals x squared plus bx plus c. We're asked to graph the parabola y equals x squared plus 10x plus 30. And the method we're asked to use is to find five points on the parabola, the vertex, two points to the left, two points to the right, so five points in total. So to find the vertex, to start, I'll recall that to find the axis of symmetry, it will be the line that has the equation x equals negative b over 2a. And we can use this equation to find the axis of symmetry when we have the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Here our a term is 1, so 2 times 1 in the denominator, and our b term is 10. So 10 in the numerator, this simplifies to negative 10 over 2, or negative 5. So x equals negative 5 will be our axis of symmetry. And since I'm looking for 5 points, I'll use the axis of symmetry, which will be the vertex, for one of those values to plug in. I'm also supposed to use 2 points to the left, and actually that's a negative 5. So 2 points to the left, I could use negative 6 and negative 7. Two points to the right, use negative 4 and negative 3. So now I will turn my attention back to the equation for the parabola and begin my substitution, plugging that first value, negative 7, back into our parabola. We would replace the x's with negative 7 to find our y value. This would give us a negative 7 squared is 49. 10 times negative 7 minus 70 plus 30. Simplifying here, 49 minus 70 minus 21 plus 30, or 9. So we have our first coordinate, negative 7, 9. And then I'll repeat the process when x equals negative 6 to find the y value. Negative 6 squared is a positive 36. 10 times minus 6 minus 60 plus 30. 36 minus 60 is a negative 24, plus 30 gives us a positive 6. So we have the point negative 6, positive 6. Our next point is x equals negative 5. Substituting that into our equation, negative 5 squared is 25. 10 times negative 5 is negative 50, plus 30. And this time we have 25 minus 50 minus 25 plus 30, or a positive 5. So we have our vertex here at minus 5, 5. Two more points to plug in here. We'll next use negative 4. Negative 4 squared would be 16. 10 times negative 4 minus 40, plus 30. 16 minus 40, negative 24, plus 30, gives us a 6. So negative 4, 6. And then our last point here, minus 3. That substitution gives us negative 3 squared, which is 9. 10 times minus 3, a negative 30, plus 30. Negative 21, plus 30, which is 9. So our last point is negative 3, 9. And we can see here that our parabola would be shaped like this.